You had any alcohol to drink today? I swear to God, no. No alcohol? No, I'm under distress. Challenging law enforcement during a DUI arrest can quickly escalate a routine traffic stop into a tense and potentially dangerous situation. Right now, you are being placed on arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? In these incidents, individuals not only find themselves facing the legal consequences of driving under the influence, but also choose to confront the police officers tasked with enforcing the law. From Florida's vibrant streets to the chaotic scenes in Georgia, these incidents shed light on the consequences of defying authority. Are you willing to perform standard field sobriety exercises? Yes. Miss Viviana had spiraled into a web of trouble when her speeding caught the attention of a DUI investigation. On November 18th, 2023, a group of officers in the city of Eustis, Florida, stopped Viv for speeding. Single four though, that's worth crash. He's not doing a DUI investigation. Oh, no, we were just talking to her asking her for that, so she's uh she asked she's like, well, what did I do wrong? I'm just gonna make sure you're okay. So we're gonna do she had a bowl. We're gonna do the crash first. Yeah. Put her out. Let me ask her a couple questions about the crash and then we'll Sure. Okay. Where are you coming from today? What? Where are you coming from? My my sister's house. Okay. What you do over at your sister's house? I hang out at my sister's house. What? what? Where, where does your sister live? Right across the way. Where's right across the way at? There. There's no houses over there. So where where's your sister's house? What? Where is your sister's house? I'm sorry. Do you know her address? No chance. Upon arrival, officers instructed Miss Viv to leave her car. As she stepped out, the atmosphere became charged with tension. The officer proceeded to read her Miranda rights, emphasizing her right to remain silent. So what's the address of your sister? Huh? What's the address of your sister? What is the address of my sister? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm trying how to figure that out where you're coming from. I don't understand from. what that makes sense. I'm trying to figure out where you're coming from. Okay, so I am going from a common. A common what? You're not really making sense to me. I'm, I'm trying to figure what, it out. What, what is, it, is it that you want to hear from me? I explained it three times now. So we're going to a home? Are you going to a home? Yeah. Where? My home. Where do you live? Miss Viv's responses became increasingly erratic and disjointed. The officer questioned her about recent activities, but it was evident she was impaired, struggling to stand without the support of her car. When you were at your sister's house, did you have anything to drink there? No. Okay. Did you have anything None. to drink while you were driving? No. Okay. None. Is that bottle of liquor yours in the car? None. No? None. Okay. Are you willing to perform standard field sobriety exercises? Yes. You are? Absolutely. Already. Uh, can we use this line? Absolutely. All right. Come on over here. As the officer tried to gather information, Miss Viv became agitated, mentioning her attorney and expressing frustration. The situation escalated, leading to her questioning the necessity of the investigation. Okay. Are you able to stand like this? No. Can't. Why not? Yeah. So do you want to do standard field sobriety exercises or not? I mean, I don't understand what's what's happening right now. I'm, right, so one my, more time. I'm, one I'm more, going home now. One more time. Do you want to do standard? I'm going home now. Okay. No, you're I'm not. going home now, right? No, you got to take this right back. Stop. Whoa, am I? Extremely impaired, man. Yeah, let's take a 14 on 22. Yes. 
can't wait till my attorney just loves on you guys tomorrow. Okay. It's open. Thanks. Take a seat. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Take a seat. Come back today. Uh, Put your feet in. Could you just let that go? There we go, Miss Viv. There we go. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Hey, Two Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Put the other leg. Can you just like that? Listen, dude. There you go. Rap, can you unlock me? Yeah. <laughs> You're a nice lady. You are scared of me. Just can you just get that off me? Man, Raph, you got these on. Well, goddamn. Can you sit back, please? I can't. Yes, you can. No, Thank not you. Really. Oh. All right. Bobby, it hurts me. This is 97 LCJ 65 inning. Oh, Alright, sit so on out. Step out. We get them off. But he, he, I can't. I need it. To, you need to get out. Then we can take them off. But can, can you take that? No. This is so great. Can you hold that? Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Okay. Keep walking. No, face like, the wall. Face the wall. Like, wait, wait, wait. Turn Let me turn around. Face the wall. I want to turn this way. You got to turn around, man. Just face the face side. Can I, can I look that way? No. Okay. Oh, I can't look that way? Miss Viv's attempts to provide coherent answers proved challenging. Furthermore, repeated attempts at explaining the field sobriety tests fell on deaf ears. The officer then decided to apprehend her. She was escorted to the police car and taken to Lake County's Sheriff's Office. Do you feel the effects of alcohol right now? Do you feel the effects of alcohol in your system right now? What does that mean? Do you you're under the influence of alcohol right now? You just signal 81, signal 81, zone 2, vitamin shock 17355 US Highway 441, commercial alarm, zone 9, front door perimeter, no contact me. Do what? Forty-two uses. Can I get to my ten fifteen time? You're okay, Viviana. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Ten four. Your ten fifteen time is eighteen thirty eight. Eighteen thirty eight. I don't think I 
Viv's muddled state of mind complicated the officer's inquiries about her recent activities. Despite her emotional outbursts, the officer pressed on with the breathalyzer test, revealing her impairment to be over four times the legal limit. Even while taking the test, she was about to fall after losing her balance. Miss Viviana was charged with DUI. Her bond was set at $2,000. Now, shifting gears from Miss Viv's turbulent encounter with the law, the spotlight shifts to another DUI saga, this time set against the backdrop of Eustace, Florida. Our second incident unveils the turbulent story of 46-year-old Colin Marie Lloyd, a woman who found herself under the spotlight of law enforcement. Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good. That's good. So, I gotta ask, why are we going so fast? I don't know, because I just drive fast. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get home. All right, do you know how fast you're going? No, I really don't. Probably 65. 65? Yeah. Try 115. What? There's, really? Yeah. Oh my god, there's no way. You wanna do me a favor and go and help out of the vehicle? Yeah. I can find every cigarette. It was September 8th, 2023, when the flashing lights of police cars illuminated the night as they observed Colin speeding at an astonishing 150 miles per hour, more than 50 miles per hour over the limit. The deputies wasted no time and instructed her to step out of the vehicle, doubting her for driving under the influence. I got some questions for you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, that being said, mm -hmm. are you under the care of a doctor or a dentist? Mm -hmm. No. Do you have any physical defects? No. Are you diabetic? No. Do you take insulin? No. Are you epileptic? No. Do you take the lantern? No. Do you have a glass eye? No. Are you wearing contacts? No. All right. So that being said, I am a DUI. Mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that you're safe to be driving, mm -hmm. okay? With that being said, I'm gonna knock down my lights here, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to do some field sobriety exercises. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Would you be willing to do that for me? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. All right. So, that being said, I want to check your eyes, okay? Yeah, yeah, So, fine. once he knocks down his lights so I can see, I'll get you to stare at my light, okay? Okay. So, that being said, can you stand just like this? Put your feet together? Mm -hmm. All right, I don't want you to fall over. If you feel like you're going to fall over, you no, let I'm me know. No, I'm not going to fall over. All right, and just put your arms down at your side, just mm -hmm. like this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so do me a favor. Just look at my light. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to follow this with your eyes and your eyes only. I don't want you to move your head, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, keep your head still, okay? No, I'm sorry. It's natural. All right. Okay, try and keep your eyes on it. Don't forget where it goes. I'm gonna hold it out here for a few seconds, okay? Okay. Oh, just keep looking at it. I see that part where um, your left side of on my side. Alright. Trying to hold it out here for at least four seconds, okay? Okay. <laughs> Slow down, okay? Mm -hmm. Try 
try and keep your head towards me, okay? Keep your head straight. I'm gonna go up two times, okay? Mm -hmm. So make a series of small circles in front of your face, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to follow this. I'm gonna bring it in towards the bridge of your nose. Mm -hmm. I want you to cross your eyes. So you just keep your eyes on this, mm -hmm. everything happens naturally, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on it, keep your eyes on it, keep your eyes on it. One more time. And keep looking right here, right here, right here. So I'd like you to do the walk and turn the one leg stand. Would you be willing to do this exercise? Yeah, all right. We'll come on over here. We'll stand at the tip of the line, okay? Step on over here. Or over here, from this side. All right. So if you feel like you're going to fall at any time, you let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. So that being said, I'm going to get you in what's called the starting position. Once I get you in that starting position, I want you to stay in that position until I tell you to begin the rest of the exercise, mm -hmm. okay? So, go ahead and put your left foot. I see you're wearing uh, flip flops. Mm -hmm. You can do this with or without your shoes, okay? It's completely up to you. If you have any tennis right, shoes in the I, car, we can grab right. them. No, can I take my shoes off? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Can I flip on, on the back side? Yep, go ahead and put your left foot on the line mm -hmm. and your right foot directly in front with your heel touching toe, all right? Mm -hmm. And put your arms down to your sides, all right? So, stay in this position until I tell you to begin, okay? Mm -hmm. So, when I tell you to, you're gonna take nine heel toe steps down this line. You're going to turn just like I'm going to show you, and you take nine heel toe steps back. It'll look just like this. One, two, three, all the way until nine. You're going to leave that front foot on the line. You're going to step off with your back foot. You're going to take a series of small steps to pivot on that front foot. And with your first step back being one, it'll be one, two, three, all the way out until nine. While you do this, I want you to consistently walk. You're not going to stop. You're not going to use your arms for balance, and I want you to count your steps out loud. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. With that, if you don't have any questions, ma'am, you can begin the exercise. So the next exercise I have for you is called the one leg stand, mm -hmm. okay? So with that being said, the exercise will look just like this. You're going to raise one foot, either foot of your choice, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to keep your legs straight and your foot flat to the ground. I want you to stare at your foot and count in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I don't want you to put your foot down though. If you do put your foot down, I want you to pick it back up and continue where you left off. 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, until I tell you to stop. Okay. While you do this, I don't want you to use your arms balance. I don't want you, I want you to try not to sway, and I don't want you to hop. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. All right. Give me one second, and I will uh, give you a time to start, okay? So, do you have any questions? No. Hold on, real quick. You can put your foot down, relax. Okay. All right. So, do you know which foot you want to raise? Yeah, I'm going to raise my right. Okay, you're going to raise your right. So, when you raise your right foot, I'll start a timer. This is a timed exercise, okay? So, okay. you're going to go until I tell you to stop. Okay. So, whenever you're ready, go ahead and raise your foot. One 
Don't stop. All right. As Colin came out of the car, her every response became crucial. Recognizing the need to ensure public safety, the officers swiftly conducted sobriety tests, including the horizontal gaze nystagmus test, walking in a straight line and standing on one leg. Each test showcased the extent of Colin's impairment and heightened the situation. All right, so I have some questions for you, okay? In order for me to ask these questions, I need to read your rights, okay? So I understand that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything mm -hmm. you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Mm -hmm. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights or not and answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained I you? I understand that. Having these rights in mind, do you want to answer my questions? I don't have any... I don't have any answer to your questions. All right. Response to your questions. All right. Well, do you want to answer my questions, yes or no? Yes, I'll answer your questions. Okay, that's all in this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me one now. Uh, do you mind opening your mouth real quick? Yes. And lift your tongue. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So, that being said, where are you coming from tonight? I'm coming from my work. Where's work? Courtside Grail. Is that in Tampa? St. Or? Petersburg. Okay. And where are you going? Home. Where's home? 2017-13 Barrett Court, Palm Harbor, Florida. 2017-13 Barrett Court, Palm Harbor, Florida. Barry Court? Baird. B-A-R. B-A-R-I-R-E. Okay. All right. Which street is this? Uh, this is McMullen Booth. All right. Which direction are you traveling? North. All right. Have you been drinking? I have had drinks tonight, yes. I gotcha. What have you been drinking? Um, red wine. Red wine? Yes. Anything else? No. All right. How much did you consume? Um, let me see, probably four drinks since the beginning of the football game at 7 o'clock. Okay. So 7 p.m.? Yes. After the tests, the officer searched Colin's car. The officer asked questions, reading Colin's rights aloud. Initially hesitant, she eventually agreed to respond, revealing insights into her night. She disclosed the specifics of her alcohol consumption, which included four glasses of red wine. All right, have you been smoking any marijuana? No, I don't smoke that. Right. Don't do any drugs, nothing. What's the last no time drugs. you ate? I had a piece of chocolate cake at 10 o'clock, and I had a chicken parmesan entree at 8.30. So some chocolate cake at 10 p.m.? Yes. And then when did you have the uh, chicken parm? About 8 o'clock, 8.30. And I think I finished the rest of it at about 9, well, before I drove. Okay. Yeah. All right. When's the last time you slept? Oh, I went to yoga at 10 o'clock this morning, so I... 9.30 this morning. 9.30? And I was about... 12 hours of sleep, uh -huh. maybe 10, 12 hours of sleep. So what time did you go to bed? What and what, so what time did you wake up? Um, like I said, probably woke up at 9.30, 10 o'clock a.m. this morning. Went to bed about midnight last night. 10 hours of sleep. Okay. All right. Are there any mechanical problems with your vehicle? Uh, probably hit a raccoon about a month ago. There's a little bit of rattling underneath the front side of my uh, driver's side wheel, but that's it. And that was the driver's side or the passenger side? Drivers. Okay. Are you on any, med any medication? No. Do you feel the effects of any of the alcoholic beverages that you consume tonight? Mm, slightly. Slightly. 
In your opinion, are you under the influence of any alcohol? Yes. So if you had to put your scale on a scale of zero to ten, zero not, never had a drink in your life, ten being frat party drunk, where do you think you'd be? Three. A three? All right. All right, Colleen. So you're going to go to jail for DUI tonight, okay? So do me a favor, relax, okay? I know, I know. I'm just saying, relax. I'm just going to sit here when you put the cops on. Yep. No, that's what I'm just saying. It's just for your wrist. Five, ten, fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. You mind searching? Mm -hmm. Please, thank you. Yeah. I just gotta make sure. Why do you need to watch me? Do you have anything on you at all? No. no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Colin's recent activities, food consumption, sleep patterns, and potential influences were all questioned in depth. Colin's perception of impairment was revealed by a self-rating of intoxication of 3 on a scale of 0 to 10. After, the officer, armed with insights into Colin's night, decided to arrest her for driving under the influence. Surprisingly, there was no resistance during the arrest. Later, authorities said her breathalyzer tests showed a blood alcohol level over twice the legal limit. Afterward, Lloyd faced DUI charges, marking her third arrest in the last 12 years for allegedly driving under the influence. She got out on a $5,000 bond. If you thought Cullen Marie Lloyd's high-speed escapade was the pinnacle of recklessness, buckle up for a hair-raising chase that takes us to Monroe County, Florida. I said nine heel to toe nine, steps, nine. then you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps going back. Our attention now turns to another incident that unfolded with 28 year old hairdresser Heather. In Monroe County, Florida, she was seen driving recklessly on the wrong side of the road in a Cadillac CXT. The Monroe County sheriffs received a distress call about a driver driving on the wrong side of the road. Upon locating the vehicle, Heather initiated a high speed attempt to evade the pursuing officers. However, her escape was short-lived, leading to her eventual detainment and the initiation of a DUI investigation. County, Florida. Officers received a call from concerned drivers regarding a Cadillac CXT driving on the wrong side of the road. When officers located the vehicle, the driver attempted to flee in an effort to escape. You had any alcohol to drink today? I swear to God, no. No alcohol? No, I'm under distress. And mom's been pissing me off all day long. I didn't even want to talk to her. And she's like miss making me so mad. Do you see my license yeah. sign behind you when I was behind you? If you saw my lights and siren, and you were driving against tra driving against traffic, why you didn't pull over? Because there's somebody else behind me trying to like pull traffic into it. There was someone else behind you. Okay, stay in the vehicle, right? All right, man, step out the vehicle. Let me tell you something. Listen, let me tell you something. I just came down here to get my extension scores. For the course I try to learn from my hair extension course, that's it. I don't even want to be down here. All right, just my step over here for me. My mom did drinking and driving for four and a half years. I don't want to be Step over here in front like of my her. patrol vehicle. After officers stopped her and detained her, she attempted to justify her actions, but failed to do so. She was then taken to a safer location, 
away from the highway for further investigation. There, officers instructed Heather to step out of the cruiser, but her erratic behavior continued. All right, how many drinks you had today? Three. Three drinks. Okay, what drinks were they? A uh, Tito Sabo. A Tito? Tito's? Yes, All right. I ate in between. Are you willing to perform field sobriety exercise so you can dispel any belief that you're impaired to drive? Yes. Yes, you are? Okay, right, so this is what I want you to do. Stand right there. Gray Dodge truck at the 31. Right here. Right there. Awesome. So what I want you to do is, I want you to put your feet together like this. I want you to stand to your side like that, okay? See the tip of my finger? Can you touch it with your right hand? Can you touch the tip of my finger with your right hand? Okay, put your hand back to the side. With your eyes only. Attention, copy your records, driver Bolo, northbound from Don't the move your head, keep your head straight. Follow with your eyes only. Told you, copy your records, driver Bolo, northbound Follow from the eyes only. mile marker. I said nine heel to toe nine, steps. Nine. Then you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps going back. You may begin. You're gonna count out loud, one one thousand as you look at your foot, okay? No questions at all? No. Okay, you may begin. You may begin. What is it called? Cliche. Cliche? Cliche. Cliche? 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 With the B-L? Yeah. No, P-L-E. P-L-E? Cliche? Okay. Just give me one but second, okay, know, Heather? I can do it again for you. Okay, no, oh, sorry. Thank you very much. I do it for you. <laughs> I just want you to know I'm she mentioned her profession as a hairdresser. The officers questioned Heather about her alcohol consumption, to which she informed the deputy that she had consumed three drinks. Heather was then subjected to field sobriety tests. The interaction became increasingly frustrating as officers inquired about her actions and behavior. Um, I'll put these back on for you, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I, mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Mm, right? My mom, like... Uh, hold on, hold on. Relax your wrist. There you go. Wrong. There you go. Give me one second, all right, sure? Yeah. Okay. I know you're doing the best job you can. I just hope that you She pleaded to go home to the officers, but they focused on the inquiry. Afterward, the officers informed Heather about her impending arrest for DUI. As they were arresting her, she complied with the officers' instructions. She maintained her innocence, stating, I didn't do anything wrong while the officer secured the restraints. I'm in custody? Yeah. Why? DUI, fleeting and looting. Should I continue? I have a DUI? Yes. Why? Sit down for me. Listen, I, I'm, I don't have a DUI. Just sit down for me. I'll My talk to you right now. My car isn't even... I'll talk to you right now, Heather. Can you please Turn, talk yeah. to me? Can you please talk to me? I'll her? talk. Heather's plea to be understood intensified as she expressed her frustration about being in custody. The officer informed her about the charges she was facing, including DUI and eluding, and she was transported to the DUI center. Anything you can do? No, it's nothing. But Not I've done all. nothing wrong. Look at me. Are you serious? This is a supervisor right here, okay? You're gonna answer questions in a few. Is there anything you can do for me at all? Yes. The... Like, do you not understand how upset I am? I'm upset like this because no, no, you, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm adopted and I was introduced a new family to be a better person. And I've been a better person for the last like year. Heather, now at the center, experienced a shift in the environment from the emotional encounter on the roadside to the controlled setting. Heather was visibly distressed and a staff member, presumably a supervisor, gently spoke to her. Okay. 23 years. You asked me a question, I was about I'm to I'm 28 it years old, and you're gonna sit here and like make me feel bad in front of my family for something I haven't even done. I literally, like, I barely even did anything. Do you still want the answer to the question? Or? No, you don't want the answer. <laughs> it's like, you don't care. 
I take care of my family. Oh, you don't understand. What? Well, what? I'm going to open up this box here. So are you going to tell me what you can do for me? Yeah, I'm going to give you an opportunity to provide a breath sample. Heather questioned the seriousness of her situation. She pleaded with staff to examine her, seemingly unsure of the consequences. The supervisor assured her that they would respond to her questions shortly. In just a moment. Well, you think I don't care? You just met me. You don't know me. I just want to go to my house. Like, I literally just want to go to my house. Go to work tomorrow. It's just all I want to do. Just please. Do dog, please, as your sister, like, please, just please, oh, please, God will return you the favor, like, please. I have to go home, you gotta try and charge you for your DUI, and I haven't been in DUI. You guys, to the test run of me, and I walk. Yeah? Deep breath, deep breath. Hold it. Put your mouth right there, plus hard as you can. Harder? You're not blowing. See, I there's am. no air coming. Despite everything, Heather remained upset. As Heather continued to express her frustration, the supervisor redirected the conversation, providing her with an opportunity to share information about herself. It's okay. I'm gonna read you the consequences for it, okay? Don't play games. I'm trying to blow. You're not trying to blow. I will. Okay, I will. Just okay. go ahead and take a deep breath. Can I go tonight? I just want to go breath. to my house. Take a deep breath. Can I go to my house tonight? Take a deep breath. You're not telling me about I me. can't talk to you about that right now. Maybe. <sighs> take a deep breath. But like this is so crazy, okay? Deep breath. Blow as hard as you can. <laughs> Your first sample was 0.166. Your second sample was 0.172. That's double the legal limit, just that far out. Then, they performed a breathalyzer test on Heather. The staff instructed her on the proper procedure. The results, which revealed a blood alcohol content of 0.166 and 0.172 in consecutive samples, confirmed her inebriation. Heather was sentenced to 12 months of probation and 60 hours of community service, reflecting the legal consequences of her DUI arrest. But that is not the end of our list of occurrences. Our final incident involves another inebriated woman who took everything to the next level. I can uh, grab numbers for you. Any number I need to call, I memorize. You have memorized? Okay. Drunk Ariana Mantas got herself in trouble after hitting a car at the intersection of South Millage Avenue and Henderson Avenue in Georgia. On April 27th, 2022, Officers were dispatched to the intersection of South Millage Avenue and Henderson Avenue on a report of a two-vehicle collision. I didn't see him breaking. Okay. Is there a reason you didn't see him breaking? No? Are you on your phone or something? Are you not paying attention? What? You just didn't see him breaking? I didn't see him breaking. Okay. Do you have your driver's license and insurance? Oh, yes. This is... Here is our exchange of um, insurance and And I'll grab you. Okay. What is this? That's his handwritten in entrance. This is his? Yes. Okay. We've exchanged information. This is not insurance information. This is this, this is, is your not. tag registration. About four to five nine. I need ten six. Three, five, four to five, nine, are you available? Twenty-five is missing. Okay, this is your receipt of payment for the tag. This again is not insurance. Do you have an insurance card or anything? I have my license. Okay. Okay. There you go. We were driving okay. down the street uh -huh. and he braked for what I understand was a crosswalk situation. Okay. I didn't see that. We 
rear end or something. Okay, gotcha. All right. Where are you coming from? Just coming from 706. What's 706? 706 is across from Earth Fair. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like the area code. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah, I guess that, yeah. Is okay, so what is so, 706? Yeah. 706 is a local restaurant. Okay. And I used to work there, and so I was having lunch. Okay, gotcha. All right, so how much have you had to drink today? <laughs> what? I think you had two cocktails. Okay. All right. Do you think that you're safe to drive? I would like, I don't think I've called AAA. Okay. I don't know how we're going to get my car out of here. Okay. I'm let's, not. um, let's walk over the sidewalk just so we're out of the road, okay? Upon arriving at the scene, the officer started questioning Ariana and the other driver, asking for their licenses and insurance, and trying to figure out the reason for the crash. Another officer arrived, questioning Ariana about any alcohol consumption. Despite her denial, the officer detected the smell of alcohol, leading to a decision to conduct field sobriety tests, moving away from the road for safety. So we'll stand right up over here. Um, okay, so are you okay to do some field sobriety exercises for me? Because I'll be honest, I smell that odor of alcohol, sorry, an alcoholic beverage coming from your breath. I know you've been drinking. Are you okay to do some field sobriety exercises? I am. Would okay. you rather me just like... What's that? Stay... Uh, so, right now, I'm just going to conduct my investigation. It's just part of the accident and whatnot. So, are you okay to do those field sobriety exercises? Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Okay. I'll just have I you face... Do you have multiple sclerosis? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll have you face this way, just so we're not uh, looking at the flashing lights or anything like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, you don't wear contacts or glasses. You said you have MS, though? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So, your vision should be okay. Uh, so, what I'm going to have you do is this red stylus right here. I'm gonna illuminate it like this. I'm just gonna have you follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your hand. Your finger in your hand? Yeah, so just okay. stare at that red light right sure. there, okay? So I'm gonna start up here and I just need you to follow with your eyes, your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Make sure the steps are heel to toe. Right up here, you're just gonna follow that tip. All right, thank you. Okay. I feel like it was 10 seconds after you said that. Okay, gotcha.
Detecting signs of impairment like glassy eyes and slurred speech, the officer conducted standardized field sobriety tests on the sidewalk. During the field sobriety tests, Ariana Mantas underwent a series of evaluations, including the horizontal gaze nystagmus, walk and turn, one leg stand, and visual stimulus tracing. The officer assessed Mantis's coordination, balance, and response to visual cues and found out that she was under the influence. All right, um, so from right here, just go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me, okay? Put your palms against each other. Right now, you are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? All right, let's go ahead and walk back over here, okay? Uh, we're just gonna walk towards the car in the back over there. Okay, yeah. Like just making sure. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I told him he could talk to me for a minute. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's walk over here. Hey, this is your boyfriend, right? All right? He just wants to talk to you for a minute. If you want to just hang out towards the front of the car, I just don't want you to get hit or anything, okay? Yeah, so first of all, you have I can, you want me to let me in your phone and I can uh, grab numbers for you? Any number I need to call, I have memorized. You have memorized? Okay. Well, if you get to the okay, jail. I, I need, I will probably need your number. Okay. Yeah, he wrote it down, so I'll send it with you. If you get to the jail and you realize you need some numbers, let them know and they'll let you unlock your phone and write some numbers down, okay? So. Oh, that might you. Have you ever been arrested for a DUI before? Okay, then it'll be a couple hours okay. and she'll be out today. Okay, so uh, I'll, come, I'll come pick you up. I don't have to worry about that. Um, if I'm not there, call, call my phone. That so the officer decided to arrest her for driving under the influence. Ariana was instructed to place her hands behind her back for handcuffing. While the officer was taking her back to the vehicle, her boyfriend arrived at the scene with a bunch of flowers and the officer allowed them to talk while they searched her purse. The officer informed him that she would likely be released in a couple of hours since it was her first DUI arrest. Do you want him to take any of your stuff? Yep, I'll take the purse. Uh, do you have to relinquish it to the stuff? Yeah. Or you, you could take it to the jail with you. No, you I don't him? think there's anything in there. Okay. Do you want your phone or anything yeah, with you? Home. Yeah. Well, it's in the like glittery pink case. Yeah. Yeah. That's anything that's else you I want need. with you? No. No. The um, latch on keys. That's like the keys to my place. Okay. If you need to get in or help to clean. Oh. Yeah. I'll I don't have, have her number. So she won't. She won't. Okay. It smells like weed. Uh oh. So I, don't, I think we should search that real quick. Yeah. Okay. Don't freak out. Everything is gonna be. Okay, so one last thing before we give him your purse. It smells like marijuana. We're going to look through it. I don't care about a little bit of weed. Is there something we're going to find in there? there there's probably a, a little bit of weed. A little I bit? Okay. Anything. So we're going to pull it out. It's not something you'll get charged with because okay. honestly, I don't care about just a little bit of weed. So. While the officer was searching her bag for contraband, she told them that it did have a small amount of contraband and the officer assured her that she would not get charged for it, but they had to remove it. So I wrote out a case card. I've got his phone number for you. Your vehicle's going with towing. It's on the back of your case card. Okay. I gave him a copy too, so he knows as well. I okay. can bail it out when I get out? Yeah, yeah, you can come get it. Uh, you're probably gonna have to have it. I know, yeah. Insurance yeah. look It'll, at it. There, yeah. yeah, there needs to be yeah. work done. Yeah, for sure. I understand. I think the front tire is scraping some, and there's some yeah. wire, there's some wiring stuff that one of them needed to be replaced tire. -wise. Okay. Is that it? Just that little bit of weed. Yeah. All right. Anything else in there is okay. It's my medication. Okay. I can talk to my therapist or psychiatrist. That's all right. As long as it's in a bottle and it's prescribed to you, we got no problems with that. Definitely under okay. my name. All right. The officer discussed potential damages to the vehicle, including scraping on the front tire and wiring issues, and mentioned the need for inspection by her insurance. 
Ariana then confirmed her prescribed medication in the bottle, and the officer assured her it wouldn't cause issues. She was then transported to jail. Will you submit to the state administered chemical test of your breath? I will submit. Okay. Is there any way I can use a restroom sometime relatively soon? Yeah, so what we'll do is from here, uh, we'll go ahead and get up to, uh, we go to the jail, and that's where the breathalyzer test is done. And from there, they'll let you use the bathroom before we even do the breathalyzer, probably. I can't promise that part, but either way, the second we're done with everything, you'll be able to use the bathroom there. So it won't be long. Um, I'm going to read your Miranda rights now, okay? I know this is a lot. This is your first time, right? So you, I'm just going to read you and we can talk some, okay? Because you're in handcuffs, I need to read this to you. Um, I understand. And then you're, you decide whether or not you want to talk to me, okay? Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Even if you don't want a lawyer now and agree to talk with us, you can anytime change your mind, ask for a lawyer, and stop talking to us. Do you understand these rights? Do you wish to speak to me? Yes? Okay. So. Ariana was then informed about a state-administered chemical test for alcohol concentration. The officer explained the testing process at the jail and proceeded to read Ariana, her Miranda rights. They discussed her medication and therapy history afterward. Ariana was asked about her use of contraband, and she admitted to smoking earlier in the day. The officer read her the implied consent notice, and Ariana chose to submit to the breath test. Thank you much. Okay. You gotta put you back in handcuffs. Just turn around for me, okay? Huh? No, you're good. Yeah. Put your palms against each other. It makes it more comfy. Come on out for me. that blue door right there. Come back with me for just a second. Hang on just a sec. Later, the officers started discussing the towing of her vehicle and preparing to transport her to the jail for further testing. During the process, Ariana shared personal details about her recent job departure, therapy, and anxiety medication. While en route to jail, the officer decided to take Ariana to the hospital for the blood test, arranging for her to use the restroom before continuing to the jail. In the aftermath, Ariana Mantas faced charges of DUI, multiple substances, less safe, reckless driving, and following too closely. If you enjoyed this interesting true crime video, subscribe to watch more.